There y'all are. Good morning, everybody. This is Drew, your host of Alou Adventures. Sunday, August 11th, we've had an uncharacteristic cold front come through. It's cooled everything off. It's about 60 degrees here this morning on top of the hill. We're just going to sit out here and watch it get daylight, listen to the bird life, see what kind of wildlife comes to visit. Uh, got a pretty big day planned in the outdoors. We're going to go shoot an archery tournament here after a while. We uh, sure want y'all to come along for that. When we get done with that, we're probably going to fix us something good to eat today. We are pretty big on an adventure in the kitchen here at Alluvial. So uh, we appreciate you guys tagging along with us. and We'll see what we can get into today. Stay with us. Guys, in the course of getting daylight this morning so far, cardinals, wrens, a couple of finches, towhee bunting, uh, squirrels just up in the oak to, top of these oaks, making a little racket this morning. I, it's a little early for acorns, so maybe there's a hickory tree right there. I can't see that. Out there cutting them some hickory nuts, and that's what I hear. Sadly, there's not as much wild and wilderness left in the world these days as, as I would like. It is what it is, and I don't begrudge anybody, all these people that's moved out here around me. Moved here for the same reasons I've always lived here, the outdoors and nature, and uh, the peace and tranquility and happiness. It, it just kind of goes hand in hand with all that. So. In the background, you'll hear some of the neighbor's chickens and probably hear a neighbor's dog at some point. And, you know, that's just part of it these days. You kind of get used to it. But uh, maybe some more to a while. Life will come visit us here in a little bit and we'll see what we can see.
some deer come to hang with me this morning. That's a little old buck. Look at there. Yeah. <laughs> you can tell it's still early this morning. The sun hadn't come up yet. We've been uh, sitting here in the creek bottom just watching it get daylight. And, uh, these guys come to visit with us a little bit. Always glad to see them. All right, guys, we're going to season this chunk of beef. We're going to let it set in the seasoning for a little while, and then we're going to put it on the smoker. And we'll put a good amount of salt. Probably don't want to over-salt it, but the salt, I think, really helps the flavor. And, of course, grind black pepper. My favorite garlic powder. And last but not least, the onion powder. Now we are going to season both sides and the edges. Whatever I spill on the foil there, I'm going to roll the edges in. And that way we'll get seasoning all over it, all around it. Let it sit in the seasoning for a little while and turn it into a delicious meal. You guys stay with us. Touch high, but I'll take it. Now stop it. All right, my favorite, swine and die. Smoking. <laughs> Dead pig. He sure ain't going for it. Oh no, that's not in his heart. Yeah, one of them blades clipped the bottom of that heart, and he's done. Yeah, no, that's good shot. Like I said, if you don't hit none of them trees, it don't matter. It's a touch high, but I'll take that. Still a 10. Better change my sight just a little bit. I'll be mad 
It'll be my fault. Mess. Right through the shield. I'll take that heart shot wild boar.
guys, we're gonna do the baked potatoes a little bit different. I normally coat the outside of my baked potato with olive oil, but sometimes for a change, we use a little of this organic, unrefined, keto-friendly coconut oil. It just gives them a whole different flavor. put these guys in the oven on 450 for about an hour and then probably gonna put a little cheddar cheese and some homemade ranch dip I like ranch on my baked potatoes Coarse ranch dip, homemade ranch is good on just about everything, so. All right guys, we're gonna make us a little homemade ranch dip. One of my favorites. Excellent on a baked potato, or just about anything else you wanna put it on. sour cream makes it just a little more creamy I think it does anyway and since I increased the volume of my dip with the mayo I'm going to add just a little more ranch seasoning to it. That way it's not weak or watered down. We actually want to be able to taste the ranch. this in the fridge let it sit for about an hour until the meat gets done potatoes get done be glad if somebody gets in the refrigerator Rooms, a bath, and then we're gonna stuff them with some chopped shrimp. 
much like you'd make a shrimp burger or shrimp fritters out of, something along those lines. We're gonna mix that up, stuff the mushrooms with it, and we're gonna bake those in some cream of mushroom soup. To go along with the beef and potatoes also should be very good. Just making sure everything's gonna fit in the pan. Stuffing. All right, guys, we're gonna chop us up some shrimp. We just want them. It ain't gotta be perfect or shrimp or tender anyway. You just want them about the consistency of any other ground meat. Hamburger, sausage, whatever. Then that is what we're going to use. We're going to season them good and stuff those mushrooms. Season it up. We're gonna put a little smoked paprika. May not, I ain't so sure about the taste, but it sure smells good. A little old bay seasoning, just a little. I don't want it to. We don't. We just want to accent the shrimp, not overpower. A little garlic salt and a little onion powder. One of these days, I'm going to stuff that in a sausage with some rice and make some shrimp boudin. you guys are thinking right about now sure is a lot of shrimp for them few mushrooms and you are correct there will be some shrimp left over I do intend to mix the shrimp and the rest of the shrimp in with the sauce that the mushrooms are going to cook in I think that will also, also enhance the flavor of the sauce so when we get get around to that I'll be sure to show you guys that too mix that soup to a nice smooth consistency we get there we're going to take our leftover shrimp add to the soup once again that was cream of mushroom with roasted garlic we're going to blend all that up very well
and we're going to place our stuffed mushrooms in it. We will bake this for about 45 minutes, between 30 and 45 minutes on 350 degrees, and it should come out perfect. Got, a, got us a stuffed mushroom skating rink here. Those are ready to be put in the oven. Razor sharp. Man, that looks good, don't it? All the juice. Oh, absolutely. That's going to be out of this world. And by sheer good fortune, there'll be enough of that. I need to take some of my lunch tomorrow. Well, let's see what we got here. Two inches thick, perfect medium rare. Well, Lugal Adventure Team, here you have it. We've got our baked potato with homemade ranch, cheese, bacon bits, all the good stuff. Uh, got our shrimp stuffed mushrooms. I can already tell you they are out of this world. Then we got our smoked beef roast, which is done to, as far as I'm concerned, a medium rare. Mm. That is so good. Guys, we appreciate y'all joining us on another episode of Illuvian Adventures. I hope you've enjoyed everything you've seen so far. Thank you. Thank you to my subscribers. What y'all do for the channel means the world to me. Thank y'all so much. My members, my subscribers are growing every day. Please tell your friends. Uh, I'd like to grow the channel, get a little bigger, bring y'all more exciting content in the future. 
and uh, I appreciate y'all very much. Like I said, it means the world to me. We will see you guys on the next one.